When a dam breaks, like the one in Brazil, quite recently, it looks like this. There is actually little information related to this Brazilian dam that which yesterday was at a near collapse and today has collapsed and you can see the images right here right now and how fast the water is flowing. Heavy rains over the past two months across several Brazilian states has caused flooding and affected dozens of cities and left thousands of people homeless. In the past two weeks, landslides in a state of Brazil reportedly killed at least 12 people. Authorities have issued a number of alerts as they continue to monitor any dams that may burst. You can see some of these images right here. So unfortunately, we don't have any more information what's happening in Brazil at the moment. It seems that it's being quite censored. There are some videos that are coming out on some mainstream media like Sky and CNN, but not a lot of information related to what's happening right now. Today is Saturday the 15th of January 2020. All these images were caught in the last 24 to 48 hours. And this is a continuation of this dam in Brazil, what is happening. This is an article or part of an article that I found and would like to read to you. When a dam fails, a huge amount of water impound upstream is released downstream as a catastrophic flood. If you have a population downstream that could lose loss of life, property damage, environmental damage, an emergency action plan base was based on numerical simulation, stimulation, simulation is needed to identify the areas likely to be flooded and therefore pe populations should be evacuated. If we refer this to China, this doesn't actually really happen, which is quite shocking in a way that the person at the bottom of the ladder, let's say just the worker, has to inform his supervisor, the supervisor informs his manager, etc. It has to go through a chain of command because people are scared of losing their job. And it's sort of like selfish. They want to make sure it comes higher than them so they don't get the blame and they don't go to a black op place, so to speak. But dam breaks are actually quite common. And the older these dams get, not just in China or the Free Gorges, but around the world, and with the climate change that we're seeing, the man-made pollution that we have all have caused, these man-made structures that cost billions of dollars soon do disintegrate, collapse, fall apart break down. Let me give you a couple of examples of this. On the 9th of October 1963, a landslide calling, causing a mega tsunami in the lake of 50 cubic million cubic square meters of water overtopped a dam if a wave of 250 meters, that's 820 feet, which brought massive flooding to the this valley, which you can see in the picture, leading to the complete destruction of several villages and towns, and estimated 1,900 to 2,500 deaths. The dam itself remained mostly intact. Two thirds of the water was retained behind it. So imagine if all of the dam collapsed because it's just old. It's really worrying and actually a little bit frustrating and scary in effect that how many dams there are in the world. We mentioned countless times in China there's 90,000 and at least half of them are in disrepair and should be decommissioned or actually rebuilt. As again I mentioned before, dams in China, the government has said they're going to repair all of them 
um, but let's see if they are going to talk the talk and walk the walk. What happens from the CCP is there is little trust in the global community of what they say they're actually going to do. Going to the Free Gorges Dam, if you've ever seen the dam before, or you can see pictures here, you can see these very massive big cranes on the top. And these are like eight story buildings. They weigh I'm, a colossal amount of tons. The main reason they are there is to open the sluice gates. When it floods, they will be underneath, the, on top of the sluice gates and it opens. It's a bad design basically of the Free Gorges Dam. But um, I was China watching yesterday and I was watching a channel and on this channel they managed to capture these cranes. Now they're moving. These cranes move incredibly slow. So on this website they did speed it up a little bit. I will send you the link to this but you can see what's happening with these cranes right now. And while we're at the Free Gorges let's have a look at the levels. Kutan, 600 kilometers away from the Free Gorges on the Yangtze, is 170.28. And the Free Gorges has gone down just a few centimeters more at 169.89. But if you look at the inflow, it is 7,100. And the outflow is 6,860. I got my glasses on, not very clear, I'm afraid. So there's more water coming in to the reservoir than actually being allowed out. There are some reports related to the dam, it's producing a tiny amount of electricity, like 20%. But you have to do this through the numbers, but I'm not too sure and I can't give you the accurate information on that. But let's have a look why there is a high inflow there and maybe a small outflow and it's all to do with a little bit of the weather and a regular feature on my channel is the weather so let's do that right now so the weather as of saturday the 15th over the next coming days looks a little bit like this the hand for the newcomers is where the free gorges dam is and the weather doesn't seem much at first over the weekend, so to speak. But later on tomorrow, Sunday, you can see there is rain. Not heavy rain, but rain at the bottom of the central plains of China. But nothing hitting the three gorges. But it is hitting the tributaries of the Yangtze River that can contribute to the high levels at the Yangtze. Now, the three gorges dam usually this time of year will be about 160 150 they have to get it down to 145 before the floods which will happen in a couple of months time hopefully not but it's a precaution but this year it seems very high and some reasons possibly is that something is not working the Free Gorges is the largest hydroelectric power dam in the world. We all know that. But it's quite a young dam compared to other ones. It's the last line of defense on the Yangtze River in China to before it goes to places like Wuhan, Nanning, Nanjing, sorry, Nanjing, and eventually coming out in Shanghai or the delta of the Yangtze, very close to Shanghai. So why has it not gone down so fast? It seems like there is something wrong with the actual dam because it's not normal. That really brings us to a close for today. I would like to say hello to the new subscribers or the people who have resubscribed or welcome back. Uh, 250 in the last 48 hours. Wow, it's I just don't understand why T definitely don't understand the algorithms. But thank you for your kind support by just watching this. If you do want to become a member, then just hear the see the links below. If you do have any questions about the dam or anything about my wrinkled curtains or me swiveling. <laughs> then drop me a line in there you can either you can send me an email all the information my contact information is there if anyone would like to join the show then 
please do. You Again, send me an email. We can do a pre-recorded show on Skype, for example, and we can just have a chit-chat, not necessarily about China, but things, sorry, about dams or China, but other things related to China, maybe like the Beijing Olympic Games or the situation related to COVID in the People's Republic, People's Republic, the, Man, the Middle Kingdom, the People's Republic of China. That's what I was trying to say. I think I waffled on too long. A like, don't forget, a subscribe if you haven't done so already, and a share with your friends would be absolutely fan dabby dozy. Be good, be well, be safe. Thank you very much for your time. It's one thing I can never give back to you. Bye-bye.